Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Distant Worlds Universe Episode 6. And last time we left off, we had a major setback that uh, pretty much ended up with me completely trying... I, I pretty much just re-researched uh, warp field precursors, and it was a huge... Uh, it was definitely a huge setback, and so what I did is I went I went along, let the game run, and kind of did some things here and there, nothing too crazy, but I let the game run so that I could uh, build the warp field precursors back up to a high enough percentage, and then I, I'm waiting for you. I started it up before we got it, obviously, because I wanted to uh, have you guys be here for it. But I just want to talk about real quick things that happened as I was letting the game run, so you don't feel too far behind. Uh, it 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 wasn't too long, but uh, basically uh, our tech kept advancing a little bit. So I think we got uh what were things that we were construct uh, we were researching nothing in there obviously uh target tracking I don't know if you, you guys are here for that or not and then we're working on uh, proximity sensors and then transportation systems as for weapons well uh, we ended up cashing in that uh, retired warship or retiring that warship that we had built earlier and it actually gave us improved defense tactics which isn't that great. But it's not bad because it's something we're going to have to get eventually anyway. So to get it for free is kind of uh, useful. Uh, what else happened? We uh, got some more characters. We got uh, two more ship captains, uh, which was funny, as well as, uh, let's see, I don't th I think that was it actually. So two more ship captains. So now our characters are starting to build up pretty quickly. Um, we also, uh, I also went through and retrofitted the space station. I gave it a couple more, uh, a couple more, uh, research uh, stuff and everything but I, I really need to I really need to go out and try to uh, and try to uh, find some places to build some research stations but that's what we did there and then let's see what else uh, oh uh, we also got a we discovered another luxury uh, luxury resource on our planet uh, Quisterian skin <laughs> so yeah moderate but either way it's another luxury resource so that puts three luxury resources on our home planet which is a pretty big deal. So I'm going to let the game run through. It's going to tick through here and we're going to get our uh, warp field precursors and then we've got a lot of uh, retrofitting to do with our ships. Um, which uh, is the first one. The first one you do with all the retrofitting stuff is usually the largest one. One of the largest ones you do with the, in the game. So there we go. Hyperfa uh, hyperface space. Blah, blah, blah. If I can even say it correctly. Hyperspace technology discovered. Uh, we have discovered hyperspace technology allowing our starships to travel faster than light. This momentous discovery means that we can finally leave our own solar system and travel to faraway stars, truly exploring the galaxy. This amazing discovery has produced a new scientist in our empire, Kalar Kardodak. That's extremely hard to pronounce. Wow, another scientist. Awesome. And so we should quickly exploit this new capability by redesigning and building new ships with these hyperdrives. Well, kind of a little too late for quickly exploiting this new capability, considering that I <laughs> had to wait a really long time to do this. However, we got another scientist, which is great. So let's take a look at him real quick. Weapons research. This guy's got the high tech and the energy. So I'm definitely going to keep him at this research station here. And I can put him on a weapons research station uh, if I end up building one in the future. I think that'll be something we do. However, the one thing I need to do right now is, oh, and if you could look up here, I did actually balance this out a little bit. Um, it actually kind of just balanced itself out over time. However, I do need to, our population isn't really growing anymore, so I do need to go through and lower this maybe. Actually, I'll wait just a quick second. We are really happy right now because of our extra luxury resource as well as the recreational and medical facilities benefiting, uh, benefiting us by plus 7% there. And our leader provides a plus 10% happiness bonus, which is only two, but that's not that much. I mean, as you can see, we're definitely outweighing the uh, ta high tax rate. So I'm actually going to keep this tax where it is right now, um, just because our cash flow is pretty low. Uh, but getting these hyperdrives equipped will definitely help us out. So let's go through and do that now. So we're going to do the private ships first. I'll go through and just do them all, actually. Uh, cancel that. I got to go through. Let's just do manual upgrade. Or actually, I'm going to auto upgrade all of these. And then go through a manual upgrade. So this is going to take a minute. Please forgive me. <laughs> but let's see here. So we'll just call this a light hauler. Mark 2. And we're going to put some armor on there. Let's put just uh, nothing crazy. 4 armor and actually, let's go 5 armor. Sort this by uh, category. Or, uh, yeah, category. Sort this by name. And I want to throw some shields on there as well. Thinking two shields would be more than enough. 
What else do I want to put? Uh, standard fuel cell. Let's put one more. And then... Where's our hyperdrive unit? Warp field precursor. Warp bubble generator. Yes. Warp bubble generator. There we go. So we've got our hyper... Uh, as you can see that going up now. So now we got hyperspeed. Which will let us uh, leave our solar system basically. And if I add some more... Uh, if I add a couple more of the... Right here. Basic space reactors. I can actually increase that probably a little bit bit or a lot how far can I go 2,000 is the maximum I would like to have 2,000 I would but it starts eating up a lot of energy output let's just go with 1,200 for now well now nah, we'll go with 1,900 because that does make a, a fairly significant uh, impact so we'll go with 1,900 and we'll throw on some, what else do I need? Thought about doing some energy collectors. Um, yeah. Says it's the private sector. Uh, just one energy, energy collector would be enough. And we'll save that. Let's go through and do this next. So the Mark II Super Hauler. And uh, so we'll do five armor, two shields. Um, warp bubble generator, throw on a basic reactor to 1900 and an energy collector. There we go. All right. And that'll do it. Save that. Oh, wait. Oh, it's making them obsolete the build. Hmm. Interesting. Why is that? All right. Why is it making it obsolete to build? Oh, it's too large in size. I didn't even notice that. Okay, so what we'll do then... Uh, that's real simple. We'll just pull off some of the armor. Or the armor is actually not the problem. The problem is probably the basic space reactor. I wasn't even paying attention. So, size 330. Oh, maximum size 276. That can't be right. Why is the... Uh, oh, I guess 250 is usually the... Maximum size, so 276 would be correct. So, things I can pull off then. Uh, standard fuel cell. What else did I put on here that I guess I gotta pull off? Let's pull off one of the ion thrusters. I guess one of the shields. Boy, even that's still too heavy. What did I end up putting on here that was so heavy? Yeah, all right, and two armor. So that's a bummer, but that's the only way we're going to be able to do it. All right, medium freighter. So that means I need to upgrade my ship size, like, soon. Consider adding hyperdrive components. All right, so we're starting back over now with the freighter here. Let me actually set this back to uh, latest buildable design so I can make sure that I can actually build them. Medium freighter. Add some armor. We'll just throw five on there. We'll add one shield. And we'll always come through and upgrade these in time. Oh, it's already oversized. All right. We'll pull off some of the ion thrusters to add ourselves a warp bubble generator. And I think that's about as good as we're going to get it. 276. And the max is... Uh, where can I find the max? I forgot we were... Oh, it's around here somewhere. It's probably kicking around. I always forget. 276, though, is the size we have right now. Can I put... So, I, and I can't put another reactor, correct? Oh, no, that is our maximum size. Maximum size of 276. Okay. And it's also our current size. So, no, maybe not. Maybe that's not our maximum size. We just happened to be right at 276. That was just pure luck. Okay, so 276, save that. Let's go to the gas mining ship then. We got to put our warp field precursor on this one. Warp bubble generator. There we go. And what else? Some armor. A shield. 
249. What else can I put on here then? Um, I'm thinking... Ooh, I wanted to do energy collectors too. Yeah, it's throw an energy collector. I don't think these ones I put energy collectors on them. Nope, they do. That one still has the energy collector. This one I didn't put an energy collector on, and I probably won't be able to unless I take off some of the armor. Let's throw an energy collector on here and see how much that takes up. So 284. I could pull off some armor and one standard cargo bay. Maybe. But then... Let me put that back on there. Let me pull off a standard fuel cell. There we go. We'll keep it like that. Mining ship. As you can tell, like, refitting these ships obviously do take a while, but... Um, it is part of the game, so I don't want to cut it all out because you guys might miss some really valuable, uh, information. Throw an energy collector on there. Let's get our warp bubble generator on there. There we go. And looks like I'm going to have to peel some armor off. One armor should do it. All right, and that does it for our private ships. Now for our state ships. Uh, I'm not going to worry about these ones just yet. Let's go to our exploration ship. Ooh, can't actually do it like that. Manually upgrade. Actually, I'm going to auto upgrade it real quick. Same with this one. Then manually upgrade. And we'll stick with the Mark II. That is fine. And let's see. So, exploration ship. What do we want to put on here? Five armor. Definitely got to get our hyperdrive component put on here. As well as... That puts us at 178. So, we got plenty of room for expanding on this. Let's put some fuel, shell, uh, fuel cells on there. And some more shields. Yeah, we'll put 200 shields. And then how about some... How about some, uh, let's go with some more reactors here, see if we can't bump this up. Ooh, 230. So, we'll peel away one of these. And, uh, I think that's about as good as we're going to get it for that. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the uh, energy collector for the expiration ships, because they're going to be moving pretty often, so... Um, I'll just leave them the way they are. For the construction ship, though, I do want to make sure I add that. So, manually upgrade that. Keep it the MK2 here. Throw on our warp bubble. And these ones should actually be able to be fairly large. So, let me throw two shields. Five armor. Let's throw on our warp bubble. Let's throw on our space reactors. Get it all the way up to 2,000 there. Definitely put energy collectors on these because they do tend to sit around f uh, fairly often. So, minimum 35% cargo storage, construction, manufacturer. So, that's fine. We can just throw some more cargo storage on here. It's going to be somewhat expensive to have them around, but I don't, I don't need to have a lot right off the bat. Uh, by the time I start building a bunch of these, I should have my economy pretty much fleshed out. So, there we go there. And what else do I want? Anything else? I think that's pretty much it for now. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, we'll save that. Do let me know if you guys uh, see anything that I'm missing. It's very possible that I'm definitely missing things, so if I am, uh, please, please, please fill me in. Also, if you have any tips, I could use them as well. All right, medium space port. Uh, we'll leave our medium space port alone. I think it's fine the way it is, and I'm not going to touch anything else in here for now. So let's let uh, the private sector start upgrading their ships. They should retrofit themselves automatically, as well as I need to go through and manually retrofit all my ships. So let's select him there, uh, send him off the retrofit, the latest design. Same with the other construction ship. Grab up our exploration ships here, and I also want these guys to go and retrofit to the latest design. There we go. So that's going to take a second there. Uh, pirates are offering Empire contact. All right, let's see. So we can put you in contact with another Empire for 2,200 credits. Let's see. Um, normally, people recommend not going for this. Well, honestly, at this point, it's a mixed bag. Some people say to do it. Some people say to don't. I think, personally, for me, honestly, I think that it is important to come in contact with some Empire's early game. So I'm actually going to do this uh, the reason for for that is because I want to see who's around me but I also want to maybe offer up the opportunity to start improving relationships pretty early because every empire that you meet for the first time is gonna be annoyed with you Wow this guy's already got the way of darkness for government holy crap they didn't waste any time 
So every empire you meet is going to uh, start off annoyed with you, and then eventually you've got to work on, uh, you know, as you as you learn to trust each other and stuff, you'll this will go away, and then you can start improving relationships a lot better. So uh, let's take a look at these guys real quick. The reputation is satisfactory. They've already got two colonies, so there there right there is proof. Um, how much of a setback it was having those warp field precursors reset. Um, other races are going to be a lot more ahead of us. So they're part of the reptilian family. However, they naturally like us, probably because we're both extremely aggressive. Uh, we're both very unfriendly and we're both quite un uh, intelligent. I actually think we're actually both uh, extremely unreliable. Well, we're quite unreliable. They're extremely unreliable. So, these guys could make potential allies. <laughs> now, I know that sounds funny because, oh wait, they're extremely unreliable. But, um, like I said, for this game, we're trying to destroy as much as possible. We're trying to take over the galaxy, and so we've got to get uh, allies where we think we can. And so, maybe I'll send an ambassador right off the bat to go start working on those guys. Where's my ambassadors? Or how many do I have, actually? I've only got one. Oh, I can't anyways because I don't know where his uh, planet is. I could send uh, maybe an intelligent agent off to try and discover where they are. Let's see if we can maybe steal their territory map. One year. 91% success rate. Yeah, definitely. So let's send him off to try to see if we can steal their territory map there. Find out where they actually are in the galaxy. That'll be extremely useful. And hopefully our, uh, our ships will start uh, getting retrofitted here. I want to go out and start exploring some of these uh, systems around us. See what we got. There we go. So one of our ships, the Frugal Wanderer, has emerged uh, its hyperdrive, allowing us to travel faster than light. So basically the first ship that hyperdrives, um, yeah, and there they go. They start going off. So our private sector is already upgrading. All of our exploration ships are being uh, upgraded. There they go. And uh, now with things being able to hyperdrive, we're going to be able to move around a lot quicker. So let's grab up our exploration ships here that are all finished with their missions and let's send them off to start uh, checking out systems around us. So right there is our field of view there, as you can see. Oh, sorry about that. I had a quick uh, knock at the door. That's why it seems like the uh, video might have kind of transitioned there for a second. Uh, I had a friend come over and visit me. He needed to borrow some power tools. <laughs> All right, so uh, what, what was I saying? Yeah, the, the exploration ships there, uh, this is the range of... Uh, how far they can travel as of right now. So with fuel, this is as far as they can travel. Uh, it's not too far, however, it's not too bad. So let's select this first ship here, and we're going to send him to explore uh, this system. And then I think we'll take this ship and send him to explore uh, this system. And let's take this ship and explore... Mm, I kind of want to explore this gas, but eh, we'll explore this system. There we go, and unpause the game, and there's the arrows, so they're going to head out and start exploring those systems nearby. Hopefully we can increase our fuel so that we can come over here and uh, check out what that beacon's doing. So Giant Keltor encountered, that means that the uh, once you activate your hyperdrive for the first time, Giant Kelters will appear in your system. Let's see where they appeared. Hopefully nobody was going to hurt us. Okay, just over here, so hurry up, get out of there. Uh, hopefully they don't chase them, because they can, uh, they do... Wheel chase. Oh, yeah, they're going to get him. He don't have hyperdrive. Oh, it's all over. Oh, that was brutal. All right. We're going to have to take these guys out. But uh, I can't do it now, so I don't have any military ships, unfortunately. All right, we got research and proximity sensors there. Let's go take a look real quick at this. So we're working on improved assault tactics, high density alloys in here, advanced nuclear fission, and then I want to work on probably want to get hyperdrive technology pretty quickly but let's go for space construction so we can get larger ships because unfortunately we don't have very large ships and then we'll want to get our resupply ships pretty quickly all right working on transport systems and uh then we're going to work on enhanced commerce that'll give us a little bit of a trade bonus and then i'd like to work on uh the uh i'd like to get work on the improvement to commerce center so i can get the trade bonus and then maybe get the uh, trade bazaar wonder which is a huge boost to uh a huge boost to our economy so that's usually something I try to get as quickly as possible and look at this uh, they already are offering a free trade agreement both of our economies will benefit greatly and we can consider holding off and slaving you <laughs> well they do want a free trade agreement um 
Yeah. You hope that you are compliant and submissive allies, are you? Maybe. We'll find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for that. Um, just because they are people that we want to improve our relationships with, and there's their capital right there, so... Um, a little, pretty far from us right now, but they are going to be nice, close allies or enemies in the future. <laughs> but they are pretty far right now, so that's not too bad. Uh, we'll take it for what it's worth. Alright, and these giant Kelters are starting to kind of drift away from their uh, little home here, which is not good, which means I'm going to have to start building some military ships. Um, however, we are out of time for this episode, so we'll have to save that one for next time. Um, yeah, so these exploration ships, we'll go check out and see what they have to offer in these systems around us. Uh, we met our first, uh, our first contact in space with another empire so that's interesting and uh, next episode we'll get our military ships equipped and start pumping some fire power uh, firepower out so we can handle these giant kelters and uh yeah i think that's pretty much what we've got going for us so i hope you guys enjoy this episode and i'll see you next time <laughs>